Hey guys, it's IT Ops Guy. Well, I've had a request for um, some additional videos with SolarWinds, and so I thought it'd be cool if um, we looked at SAM, which is Server and Application Monitoring. Uh, and then in a later series, we can look at uh, Network Performance Monitor, which is NPM. Um, but just so we can give you uh, some more videos on um, all of these, because you certainly can't cover them. Even the 30 days that, that SolarWinds gives you just is not enough. Um, so I've got an evaluation here. My evaluation has a single node on it, the SolarWinds 03 node. Um, but I've got some other virtual machines in my environment that I want to add. And so we're just going to come over here to Network Discovery. And we're going to add a new discovery. Now we've got our IP addresses. So let's just go ahead and add those. And we'll click Validate. And um, none of these are virtual hosts. They're all virtual machines. So we can just skip this section. None of them are going to be running the agent. We are going to get them all with WMI. Again, no SNMP. Um, so here's WMI. So let's add um, a new credential called solarwinds.service. I've already put this in here. So let's just go ahead and click Add. Go Next. Um, we want WMI to be selected because these are Windows boxes and we'll set them up after the fact. And then we've got our discovery settings and we'll just click next. And I'm going to say don't run because I actually just did this uh, for the sake of time. You know, I, I want to make sure that, um, that we're not sitting here just waiting on stuff. So um, normally you would leave this as a yes, but I'm going to make it a no just because I've already done this. Uh, and so let me show you what happens. You can see my my other discovery done just six minutes ago, but we've got our scheduled discovery results. And what I wanna do is import these nodes. So you can see I've got three um, Windows 2022 servers. Uh, I'm gonna pull in the three interfaces that are assigned to them. Each one of these is just a um, Hyper-V NIC. I'm going to pull in the RAM, virtual memory, and fixed disk. I do not need compact disk, uh, so I'm not going to select that. Uh, applications, you can see I've got an IIS box. I've got Active Directory. I've got SQL Server. Let's import all of those. And then I'm just getting a little preview of what it's going to do. So you can see here's a box called DC01. You're going to be RAM, virtual memory, fixed disk, and Active Directory. And then I've got SQL 01. It's going to bring in SQL Server. And then I've got Web 01, which is going to bring in IIS. So pretty easy. So let's just go ahead and import. And get some detail about where it's at and what it's doing. Uh, the import process doesn't take too long. Obviously, the more nodes you have, the longer it's going to take. Um, so if you're doing a whole VLAN, be patient. It'll be okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, just click Finish in this case. And now what I should see if I go to Manage Nodes, I see four boxes instead of just one. Uh, and when I go back to the home page, what I'm going to see are some gray dots. So we imported Active Directory on... Uh, DC01, IAS on Web01, and SQL Server on SQL01. These applications are going to need time to pull, and until they can pull, they're going to be in an unknown state. So if you add a bunch of nodes and then you see things like that are gray <laughs> on a node you just added, don't worry about it until it's either green or red. So green, it's up and happy. Red, it's not happy, but it's going to take a few polling cycles in order for that to happen. Now you can force the issue by going into each of these applications. So we can come over here and we can click pull now a few times and it will start to pull, pull all of these components. Um, but 
again, we're just going to be patient. This is a little test box. Um, but that's it. You know, I just wanted to show you how to add some nodes. Uh, that is how you do it. And as we continue on in the series, we'll break out uh, each individual application that I load. Um, we'll talk about them, how to set some thresholds, maybe set some boundaries, set some alerts around it. All kinds of cool stuff. So uh, that is all I've got for you on this particular video. Have a good one, guys.